So hello guys, uh, welcome to the channel and um, today we're gonna talk about uh, create, uh, we're gonna do tutorial about creating a Ubuntu server on, a, on Microsoft Azure and uh, uh, install the desktop uh, version to, to have uh, access from remote desktop on, on the server. So I hope you guys enjoy and uh, please subscribe the the channel for for support for for you to be able to support me and support my work. So to start we're going to go to virtual machines and let's create a new one. A new Azure virtual machine. Okay, here it's the the same license. I want to use this group virtual machine. I'm gonna put Ubuntu server. Okay, this is okay. We're going to use the 10.04, second generation. This is OK. I don't need much for this. It's going to be a, a web server. Here, I want to change to, I prefer to change here for password. So here, I will use, because it, it automatically creates the, the user that you need in the end. So it's one step less. So there you go. I want to activate already this because this is going to be a web server. The rest is okay. I'm not changing not, nothing because it's a very simple server. Let's create. This will take a little bit. I will pause the, um, the video and I come back to you guys later. Okay, it says that uh, it's complete. So let's go to the resource. Let me put this bigger for you guys. Okay, and uh, oh, it's still loading. Okay, here uh, we will gonna use to connect Bastion. To do this, we just go here, and we will uh, put um, the username. Password. Okay. Okay, you need to allow this. Now here, okay, you have access to the to the command line. If you don't have the Bastion installed, you have the the step by step to do it. It's very easy easy to do as well. So use the Bastion. We are in the server now. We need to install the um, the desktop version. So for that, we will start with some basic commands. Oh, sorry, uh, I just uh, skip here, very important. So, okay. 
I will put all, all of these commands and the, the link of the commands in the in the in the com in the um, bio description of this video. So first is a uh, get uh, update. Then we're gonna install the the desktop version, the XFCA session. This will uh, take a little bit. I will come back to to you guys later. Okay, so it have finished. Now we will gonna install and uh, configure it remote desktop on the on the server. Again, I will put all of these uh, commands in the in the description. Certificate. Okay, now we have to restart the service. Now the last part is to to set a local user, but we don't need that because we already did that. So it's supposed to work already. So I'm gonna go to Ubuntu server. And uh, now we should be able to connect it, connect it through RDP. Open the file. So this went here. I'm gonna connect. Uh, probably we need to, to restart the server or wait a little bit. Yeah, let's uh, restart the server. Everything is done. Should only take a minute. Okay, we need to to open the, the part of the, the remote desktop because it's a Linux and Linux doesn't come with this open. So we need to go networking and we need to add okay. Is 
I do it now oh, as well. It's just take a second to do. There you go. And we should be able to do it now. Okay, there we go. Yes. And what appear it is. Okay, here we're going to put uh, the username. And here the password. Where did you went? Okay, lost the connection. Okay, he's connecting. Okay, so it's connected. I will show you guys. It's on this side. Okay. It's uh, not maximize, uh, maximize on this uh, window, but there you go. And you have um, your desktop version working. And now you can just do whatever you want. So hope you guys enjoy and uh, please uh, and if you like the video just leave a like on the video uh, leave any comments if you have any doubts so see you guys next time